Even as Western New Yorkers struggle to get their unemployment benefits, there is one thing you can do that actually seems to be working. And as Two On Your Side's Kelly Dudzik tells us, all it takes is a phone call or an email. Kate, for a few weeks, I've been suggesting people contact their state senator and assembly member if they've been having problems getting their unemployment benefits. And people have been suggesting that on one of the big Facebook groups, too. For one Western New York woman, doing that worked. We first talked with Nicole Wurziniak April 23rd when she told us she'd been trying to finalize her claim since March 16th. She emailed her assembly member, Monica Wallace, and got all of her unemployment benefits, including her back pay, May 8th. Today, we caught up with Nicole on the phone. Would you suggest that everybody makes that phone call or sends that email? Yes, absolutely, because, you know, at that point, you, you really feel like there's nothing else you can do, that you're, you're really just, you're just stuck, and you don't really know who else to turn to. And whoever had suggested on the Facebook page, you know, they had the same results. Now, I'm not sure, you know, what county or whatever they live in, uh, but it works, you know, it's, it's worked for numerous people, so I would say it's worth a shot. Assembly member Wallace's office is busy responding to calls and emails from people like Nicole. We take that information and we reach out directly to the New York State Department of Labor, who, you know, has been very responsive. They've been they've been doing their best. But unfortunately, like I'm doing this, all of my assembly colleagues, all of my Senate colleagues, we're all doing the same thing. We're reaching out and we're trying to um, prioritize. These are claims that really need to be addressed. Coming up new tonight, first at five, we'll talk with the assembly member about what she's doing to try to make sure this doesn't happen again. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.